New on WLWT, Sharonville police have arrested a man they say spilled nails along three different city roadways. Springdale police actually helped connect 44 year old Anthony Dyson to the nails found on Crescentville Road overnight on Sunday. WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick live in Springdale with the details behind his arrest and the several cities he's now facing charges in. Brian. Yeah, Kelly, it is a very weird and dangerous crime. Police say a man scattering nails, and we're talking a lot of nails at major intersections around the area. And what may be even uh, it just as interesting is how investigators say they caught the man. So the man arrested is Anthony Dyson. They say he believes he's thrown as many as 400 pounds of nails around Springdale, Westchester, and Sharonville. Now, a lot of nails, they look exactly the same, but investigators say through their investigation, they were able to find out where he was buying the nails. So they got some of those nails, they painted them with a luminescent material, couldn't see it without a black light. So they went to the business that was selling those nails. They had that business sell those exact nails to Dyson the next time he came back. When investigators went back, they had to go around and collect these up off of the road again. They found them at intersections and they were covered with that luminescent material. Police say they have not been able to determine a motive. This issue affects not only the motoring public, but public safety as well. Uh, just from our end, I know we as a Springdale Police Department have lost 39 tires in the last year alone to be in either being fixed or replaced. So if you figure we've probably five, six thousand dollars in tires just in our cars. Yeah, and one of the big dangers here is uh, they were afraid someone would get one of these nails in their tire, get out on the interstate or somewhere, have a blowout and then have a very dangerous situation with that. Uh, so police say this man they believe has been at this for years. In fact, he was arrested just last summer uh, for the exact same crime up in Westchester. They're hoping this puts an end to it, but everyone's scratching their head over this one. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.